Hi, I'm Paul Brody. We are in my shop here behind the camera, Mitch. I've been working on a stand. Oh, I got a new shirt. Thank you, David. He's in the UK. He sent this Aramaki shirt, so it was uh, appropriate that I have it on. We're going to build a race stand, and that's kind of what it looks like. So we need to do some bends. And I don't really have a bender, so I've been making a bender, and that's what these pieces are here. So I took a piece of, I think it's three quarters by four. I machined this, I welded it on, I bored it out, I put a nice bronze bushing right through. And then because of the, of the radius I want, I made this piece that slides on like that. And so the bend is gonna go around here. We're gonna use 7 16 rod. I thought half would be harder to bend and 3 8 was a little light, so that's how I ended up with 7 16 So that's going to get... I don't even have a... I haven't used this bender. This is brand new. I haven't lubed this up. Haven't even put the handle on. We'll, we'll put the handle on now, see if that fits. And this goes down like so. So it swings around. There's the handle. The handle goes into the struggling bar, wrong end. There we go. That fits nicely there. So that gives me some leverage. And then I've got a bearing. And the bearing is going to mount onto here. Now, we're going to try something. How strong is an 8 millimeter Allen screw? This is a 12.9, so it's the strongest one you can get. And I want to show you something. I'll grab it. Okay, this is a Gator Blade fork. We used to make these. And all that holds the leg on, aside from the press fit in here, 8 millimeter Allen screw. So we're going to test to see if this is if the 8 millimeter Allen screw is up to the job. If not, this will have to be welded. If, if anything happens with the bolt, We'll have to weld this onto here. So this goes like so. So we'll be using this for the first time. It's never been used before. I was still making it when when Mitch showed up for filming today. That's how that's how tight the schedule gets sometimes here. There we go. And we need to have a stop here, so maybe just a piece of cold roll and some C clamps. See if that works. And then we we need to bend it around. So this will be our sample piece. And oh, we got to put the handle on. It's pretty snug, but it's not coming out. Okay, so now we'll put on this and we're going to try a sample bend just to see if it works. So if it doesn't work, that's a problem. Put a little bit of grease in here. This is the big test. Okay. Eight millimeter Allen screw is holding. We'll go a little bit more. So that did a pretty nice bend. I can be happy with that. Let's look at the drawing and see how it compares. Okay, so 
it's a little tighter radius. I, I made this a little larger because I anticipated some what's called spring back, but we're not getting a lot of spring back, so that's okay. And when I look at the drawing, this seems like it's a bit wide. So I think what I want to do is to bring these in at least half an inch on each side. Now that we know that this works, that's, that's good, we can start making the actual stand. So what's going to happen is on the rear axle, <clears throat> there's a hole in the middle. This shaft is going to go inside the axle and then there's going to be a couple pieces on each side that the stand gets welded onto. So let's hacksaw these. We'll drill holes in the lathe and then uh, we'll do some bending. Okay, we got a couple pieces made for the stand, so now we're going to bend. So this bend we did, it's actually the exact right amount of bend. I'm going to I'm going to trace this cuz it comes in almost half an inch. See that it's the right angle up to there. So, we're going to go off the red. So what I need to do now is to figure out how long this piece is because I, I got it in six foot lengths. This is much his idea. He said get some rope. Because it's hard to take a tape measure and go around it. It, it never wanna, wants to bend. Look at that. See, it never wants to bend nicely. It always wants to do a little radius. Whereas the rope you can kind of make it do what you want. So if we have that much. I got, if I do 44 inches. Okay, this is the piece we first bent, which is the right amount of bend. And what I thought I'd do is to use this as my stop. Anyway, that's a good starting point right there. So I need to leave this a little bit longer here. Because I, I don't want to cut that too short. Let's say the bend is starting right there. So if I measure that now. Well, if I go 13 inches, that should be fine. So there's my 13 inch right there. Okay, we're going to try one and see what happens. So I have to look in between this roller and the radius here. So maybe I'll make a mark. If I line it up with that, let's let's see how that works. Actually, I know what to do. Let's let's use this piece here and see how that works. So if I do, if I go 13 inches here, because this is just a test sample, that's that's nothing there. Line up that mark with that and see how that that translates. I guess I'll just eyeball. Something like that. Actually, I got the bend fairly well. It's not, it could go a little bit more, but what that's showing me is that it's a little short. I need to add on a quarter of an inch, something like that. That's about a quarter of an inch. That's what I want to add. So this is our first our first bend. And 
and there's my stop. <laughs> We're just having fun, right? Okay, so let's see how this works out. See if we got enough up here and we got the right amount of bend. Look at that. I can I can work with that. Okay, that's that's exactly where I wanted it. So Okay, let's do the next one. Okay, those are the same. Okay, now what we have to do is to figure out where the bend starts for here. Okay, okay that's pretty darn good there. Okay, last bend. Looks like that's where the bend's going to be. Except this line's at an angle and I want it to be like... So what do you do in that case? You... Hmm. Like that? Is that what you do? You turn the bend to suit? Okay, I guess this is, this is the one. That's where it wants to get cut. I'm going to put a little bit of masking tape here and here, and then I know that these two sides match. That looks, that's not bad. It might be out. Something has to hold this in so that it's not at an angle or crooked or anything like that. So we've got these things called C-clamps. Yeah, that's a pretty quick fixture, isn't it?
I'm going to make a very small hole in the end because when the 3 8 shaft gets hammered in, there's going to be air pressure. So we need a very small hole. Okay, let's see what happens. That's about, I made a felt pen mark. That's about where it should go to. So what we're doing now is we're putting this in here. I've got that lined up with the end there. See how it's just out a little bit there. Then I make my mark. Now I'll show you what I'm doing. This is going to be my fixture, all thread, ready rod. This is still warm from welding. It's going to get, get spray painted gray. Can you see what's happening here? This ready rod is going to hold this and the other one perfectly in line. And the last thing we have to do is to cut two pieces of 7 16 and we're going to weld them across. Okay, so I made that mark, right? We are spacing from shoulder to shoulder. Make sense? And I cut the ready rod a little too long, but that's fine. There's the masking tape, so we know which sides match. That's kind of important. Okay, that looks good. So you see what's going on here? My surface table. So these ones are loose, these are tight. So now I can lock this down. What we've done today is make up some really elementary fixtures. See how that moved? Something moved there. Really, really simple fixturing using just basic, basic stuff. Okay, so that's good. So we just need to put 7 16 between here and here and here and here. And then, then we're good. How about that? Well, it cuts quite well like that too, so. All right, so the stand is made. This is the first time I'm gonna see, I got Mitch with a camera, so he can't hold the bike. I'm gonna see if I can put it on, on my own. Let's see what happens. I'd say that's successful. If I sit on the bike, then it's got all of my weight on it too. So, oh, those are the new springs. I haven't sat on them yet. So there we go. Mitch and I would like to thank you for hanging out in the shop. We hope you've enjoyed this episode. If you did, please give us a thumbs up and subscribe. We like coffee. If you buy us coffees, it fuels the channel. So take care. We'll see you next time. Stay safe.